but most important, Hartzell's here. So right. what's the latest and greatest? What's happening on your way to world domination? Well, first of all, it's good to see you again. And uh, it just seems like a week ago we were here at Osh, but it's great to be back and certainly going to be a hot week. So, you know, this week we have a ton going on with Hartzell Prop. Uh, right behind us here is the RV14, which is the Flight Shops RV. It's got a three-blade Explorer prop on it, which is a new carbon fiber prop that we have uh, into the home-built and backcountry world. Uh, it's just a, a really good performer in a three-blade and very similar to the 7497, which we call the blended airfoil in the metal. So we're really ramping up for a lot of activity with vans this week. They're a really important customer and, of course, you know, the, the biggest kit builders around. And, and what we've done is we partnered with Vans and Lycoming to offer a, an extra $500 bundle discount when you buy a Hartzell prop and a Lycoming engine together. So Lycoming's done $1,000 for a long time. Hartzell's going to chip in another 500 And so now through the end of the year, if you buy your uh, Lycoming engine and your Hartzell propeller together is through Vans, you'll get a $1,500 discount. So we're really excited about that. Another exciting thing that we have going is, I mentioned the 7497 blended airfoil. That's been our tried and true two blade metal prop, which goes on a very large number of, of RV aircraft. And we, what we've just done is this week, we're announcing a new carbon version of that. So it's the carbon blended airfoil, mm -hmm. and it's a two blade configuration that'll go on a whole range of different RV aircraft. So same great top end performance on crews that, we, that, that our customers get with the 7497 metal blended airfoil now available in a carbon version. Sounds like you guys have been busy. What else is new? You bet. So another big thing that we're going to be talking about this week and, and announcing with Diamond is that we are officially going to be introduced onto their pro production line on the DA40NG later this late summer, let's call it. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're really excited about that. This is an STC that we went out and did earlier this year. We announced it at Sun and Fun that we had an STC, a three-blade Bantam series carbon fiber propeller we call the Polaris on the Diamond DA40NG. And now they've test flown it, really like it. We see about three knots better in crews and all systems go. They're gonna introduce it and offer it as an option right from the factory here later this summer. Uh, we're also working with Whip Air, uh, which is of course, uh, you know, huge into the float world. They're just finishing up a prop STC on uh, the Caravan. So the 208, 208B, all the Dash 114s and Dash 140 Pratt engines will be eligible for a four blade carbon fiber propeller, which they're calling the Yukon propeller. And again, it's a great performer. It saves about 20 pounds in weight. It's got 25 to 30% shorter takeoff roll, which if you're on floats is a big deal. It gets you on the step and out of the water a heck of a lot sooner. Same thing with, with conventional gear, about 25% shorter roll. And a little bit better in cruise and climb as well. So that'll be a great STC. Um, it's with the FAA, so they're expecting to get that finalized in September. Mm -hmm. uh, fingers crossed, and they've got a whole bunch of pre-orders sold already. So excited about that program. One of the things I don't think many people walking around here realize is just how much a difference the right prop can make. I mean, you look at this speed kit and wheel pants and this, that, and the other, and people don't realize that the right prop is a massive decision. Yeah, you bet. And that's why we really invest with not just our, our STC partners like Whip Air and, and Razeback and Blackhawk and the like, but also with the OEMs themselves, most importantly, so that we can design specific for the mission, whether that's in a traditional metal blade or a carbon fiber composite. So that's typically how how we go to market is, is designing specifically for the mission profile, what aircraft, what engine, what they want, you know, because physics, as I said many times, physics don't change. So you, there's some trade-offs between takeoff and climb and cruise, but we can dial it in based on what knobs that particular customer wants to turn. JJ, thanks so much for joining us on Aero News and uh, have a great week. Thanks, you too. Take care.